but the New York Knicks beat the Bulls what? yesterday. They are now the two seed in the Eastern what Conference. Old? trailing only the Celtics. There was some consideration amongst my friends and I in the group chat about uh -oh. potentially losing this game to face the Pacers instead of the winner of yeah, I don't the like that. Heat Sixers. How do you feel about the way they finished this First season? off, I told you for the last few weeks, I want all the smoke. Why am I worried about the 76ers? They're not very good. And, and Bede's hurt. You know, he didn't play yesterday in the season finale because he tweaked the knee a couple yep. days ago. And there's no guarantee he's going to be at 100%. I damn sure I'm not afraid of the Miami Heat this year because they're not a very good team either. And I think, look, if you're going to take the court and roll the ball out, you go out to win. And this Nick team, to be fair, you know, look, 50 wins is nice. Obviously, we got our 50th win yesterday. That's something that's only been done twice in a quarter century for the New York Knicks. The, the, the spirit of what Tom Thibodeau coaches and the spirit of this Nick team is we're going out to play. Like Dante DiVincenzo yesterday played over 50 minutes. Yeah, right? He's never done that in his career before. Jalen's on the court the entire game. Josh is on the court the entire game. You know, they got good minutes from Precious, obviously, in the fourth quarter that helped them get to overtime. But I didn't want them to sit out. You know why? Because a lot of times, if you purposely sit guys out for the purpose of trying to pick your opponent, shame on you and that opponent's waiting for you. And there's one thing about the Indiana Pacers this year, unlike a lot of the past Pacer playoff teams, where they're basically a one-name team. Like, most people do not watch a lot of Pacers games and can't name three, four, five guys on the Pacers. The Pacers are not an easy out. So the notion of, hey, let's play the Pacers, we'll sweep the Pacers, and the Pacers are a good basketball team. So to me, I want all the smoke. And when you talk about the great season Embiid has had, and it has been great when he played, obviously he missed two yep. and three months with the uh, meniscus injury in the knee. He was on pace to have a legendary season and one of the greatest seasons in Sixer history and would have been the MVP, in my opinion, had he stayed healthy. The New York Knicks have something that most teams don't have when it comes to playing the Sixers. They got two legitimate big guys who can make it harder for Embiid to camp out down low and get easy points near the basket. They're going to force him outside. And let's not forget, in the four games that the Knicks played the Sixers this year, two of those games, we held them under 80 points. And the other two games, they barely got 90 points. So, Eddie House... I ain't afraid of the Sixers. I, I wouldn't be afraid of the Sixers either. I think, and, like and the way they played themselves to the second seed, right? Six they, out of their last they seven. Didn't, they didn't back it like like Milwaukee's going the other way. So yep, it's a whole lot. Yeah. That's a whole another story for another day, or for later today. For possibly. sure. Yeah. <laughs> but but the thing is, I, I think when you look at the Knicks, how they play, they're just super physical. Yep. And when they played the Celtics, that's what they did. They they beat us up on the glass. They they uh, they just were physical with you. They played defense, and that's Tibbs. That's Tibbs' brand and style of basketball. Getting OG to come over and, and buy into it. I, I just think this team has the most momentum going into the playoffs. And momentum is something that you, you can't take for granted. And not just that. As you know, obviously, having played the game. And look, you played for Tibbs. Uh, he mm -hmm. was on that Celtic coaching staff in 08 when you won a title with Doc Rivers. Uh, they do something a lot of teams don't like to do. That's play defense. Right. You know, they, they didn't have a great game yesterday. They had like 25 turnovers. Yeah. They were sloppy with the ball more so than they normally are. But down the stretch, you know, the Bills had an uh, – the Bulls at Bills. The Bulls had an eight-point lead with about five minutes to go, six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And then the Knicks clamped down. And the Bulls had a very tough time scoring. Obviously, they had a chance late. Uh, with DeRozan had a chance with a little floater in the lane to take the lead late. And he missed that shot, a shot he normally makes. Yeah. But defensively, when the Knicks turn it up a notch, listen, I don't care about everyone saying, oh, you don't want the Pacers, or you want to avoid this team. Uh-uh. You don't want the Knicks. Well, Craig. And I'll tell you this, from a Boston standpoint, the one team, they don't fear anyone. The Celtics are the best team. But the team that gives the Celtics the toughest battle are going to be the New York Knicks. Yeah, Craig, but that, and Eddie, since you play playoff basketball, obviously a champion yourself, you know when you're on a, when you're on a great team, you play a long time, it's about accepting the challenge, right? Because you're going to have mishaps. You talk about Mitch Robson not finishing the second half because of his ankles and ailing him. But overall, man, you talk about a team defensively saying, hey, we're going to win, we want to win, and it doesn't matter who's on the court. If individually we do what we're supposed to do, we're going to yep. be where we need to be. And that's called accepting the challenge. And I like what Eddie said. Have. We're going into the playoffs. Now, look, the Sixers have the longest winning streak, and I want 
want to respect that. The Brooklyn Nets dressed eight guys yesterday and had no interest yeah. in playing. So that's why the they Sixers won easily, even without Embiid. But I'm telling you right now, the New York Knicks did not want the three seed. We want all that smoke. We want it. So so bring it on. I'm going to sit back with my feet up in the recliner all week, watching those lower-ranked teams battle <laughs> each other out for the seventh seed and the eighth seed. And whoever wants to come in Saturday night to my building Saturday. on 33rd and 7th, the New York Knicks are a lock to win that game, whether it's the lowly heat or the Sixers. Now, to be fair, I want to be clear about this. I want the Sixers. I want that Philly-New York rivalry right back in my face because I want to be the guy that buries Philadelphia. I'll get great joy out of that. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.